Our guest is uh, Marjorie Denenfelser, the original and original organizer of the Susan B. Anthony List. She's currently the group's president, chairman of the board. She uh, has served on Capitol Hill, staff director of the Congressional Pro-Life uh, Caucus. Uh, Susan, uh, Marjorie, thank you for being with us. Oh, it's a pleasure to be with you again. Thanks, Fred. How have you been? I have been fine. I get to talk to your wife more than you. It's good to hear your voice. Well, thank you. So very... then she's really good. Thank, <laughs> you very... thank you very much. Well, between the Hi, two of you, hey. you ought to have most of our problems solved by now. We're working I tell on you. it. We do. We just need to address my husband next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'd be a fortunate man just as I am. Uh, yeah. Marjorie, I, I, I know that you're following this health care debate, uh, and uh, we're all waiting with bated breath. Uh, the president is so reticent to go on television that, that we're, we're looking forward to his coming back uh, and uh, from uh, the, the recess and uh, telling us what he's going to do. But one of, the things, one of the things the president has already been doing is castigating the critics. Mm -hmm. And claiming mm -hmm. that the critics of his bill are, as he puts it when he's talking to uh, religious folks, uh, bearing false witness mm -hmm. and lying about his plan. And, and uh, one of the things that he says that uh, uh, is, is uh, being said about uh, his health care proposal is that uh, uh, it has to do with the issue of abortion. Uh, enlighten us on that, uh, Marjorie. Does uh, would 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 what the president proposes allow abortion uh, coverage uh, uh, or not? In in short, yes. <laughs> in the House version and in the yet to be numbered Senate version, abortion is absolutely included in it. Abortion coverage is. But the crazy thing is, is this is one of the few, um, quote, myths that he is not debunking anymore in his own um, speeches and his own um, reality check website on, uh, at the White House. And uh, the reason is that he has just been slam dunked for once by the mainstream media, by Time Magazine, CNN, factcheck.org, which is usually not necessarily, yeah. you know, with us. None of them are, and they all say it's really not accurate for the president to keep insisting that abortion is not in either of these, in either of the House or the Senate bill. It, it, it just is. And, you know, the bottom line question is, does the federal government have to write a check out to an abortionist under any part of this health care plan? And, yes, the federal government, therefore, means you and me, because we fund them. But the, and the, also the crazy thing is these senators and members of Congress who keep in, k repeating the myth. They say we're, we're debunking a myth, and yet they're perpetuating the myth that abortion is not in them, like Claire, Claire McCaskill and, and others. Um, oh, yeah. We, we, yeah. we played her comments yesterday. Uh, yeah. She's just adamant and angry um, about it. And then and mentioning the Hyde Amendment as some sort of reason why, as proof that it's not you know, that it's not in the bill. And that's it. And all oh, that's an incredible abomination. They're really hiding behind the Hyde Amendment. And uh, to use Henry Hyde, uh, who was such a hero, to really cover for uh, more federal funding of abortion is crazy. The Hyde Amendment only applied to Medicaid ab abortions. And it has to be added every other, every single year because it's an appropriations rider. Now, in the current climate in the House and the Senate, we don't see that necessarily happening, that it be added every year. But even if it were added every year, the House version now creates a whole new funding stream that guess who gets to decide whether we cover abortion or not? Kathleen Sebelius and then a small group of people on the Health Advisory Board, they get to decide, and these are all appointed by Obama, whether abortion is health care or not. And of course, Kathleen Sebelius, gov former governor of Kansas, who is very pro, very pro-choice. Yeah, you know there there are even a lot of of, of pro-choice people out there who acknowledge that uh, taxpayer funds should not be used for this purpose. Yeah, and they're being and they're being deceived about it. I mean, again, we can have a debate on this mm -hmm. issue as to whether or not it's a good idea, a good thing for the country, but uh, in, instead of uh, in, instead of doing that. 
they misrepresent what the deal is and accuse the other side of doing the, the, the exactly what they're doing. I know. It's just, it really is crazy talk. Because I, these yeah. private plans that, that cover abortion could be purchased with the help of, of federal subsidies. That's right. For one thing. That's right. And uh, you mentioned uh, you mentioned factcheck.org. We were just as surprised as, as you were that they were so objective about this. And I'm reading from their summary here. I was just uh, looking at the truth. It says this. The truth is that bills before Congress don't require federal money to be used for supporting abortion, abortion coverage. So the president is right to that limited extent. But it's equally true that House and Senate legislation would allow a new public insurance plan to cover abortions despite language added to the House that technically forbids using public funds uh, to pay for them. Ob Obama has said in the past that reproductive services would be covered by his public plan. Uh, so it's likely that any new federal insurance plan would cover abortion unless Congress expressly uh, prohibits uh, that. And you know the issue now is whether or not there's going to be a public plan. He's been he's 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 been beaten up so badly because uh, people know that that's the next step to uh, uh, to to the Canadian plan. But that's still, right. under these private plans that they'd be subsidized for, you'd still have it. There'd still be the the key is and whether it's a co-op, no matter what you call it, you can call it something different. But if it has a federal subsidy that cut that uh, that helps someone pay for their abortion coverage then that's then, coverage then it's coverage. uh marjorie that's thank you i'm sorry that we're running out of time here but you've straightened us out on this and i appreciate it thank you for being with us